Hi everybody, it's Laura. How are you today? Um, check it in with a, we're going to do a beautiful color combination, I think. I saw this today, believe it or not, in a flower arrangement. And I thought, oh, this would be super pretty in a bloom. So that's what we're going to do. That is my PPG Multi Pro down as a base. This here is Diox Purple by Amsterdam. Where do you see this? I'm excited about this one. I think it's going to be very pretty. So that was Diox Purple. Then I have Primary Elements Jasmine. But really, this is, if you don't have that, just use a fluorescent pink. It's a very bright, beautiful pink. Okay. Then I have Atelier Col Cobalt Turquoise. Oh, boy, my mouth doesn't want to work today. Cobalt Turquoise Light. Look at that. See where we're going here? And then we have um, Primary Elements Key Lime. Very much looks like a key lime pie. Pretty. And then a deep dark green. I'm using uh, Thalo Green by Master's Touch. This is paint, so this is going to be my top layer that the cell activator is going to sit on. This one's a little bit thick, but it'll work. Okay. Those are my colors. Let me get my cell activator going here. Always give it a good stir. And I'm going to get my little blower. I'm blowing down in the center to get that center spread out a little bit. So that then I can put my attachment on and have something to blow a uh, something to blow the cell activator like that um, you blow the center out so you can kind of get to it and spread it out guys we're gonna have to see about this one I'm not so sure I like this color combination, but let's keep going and see what it ends up looking like. You never know till you spin. Some of that green is going to spin. It, I just think it's too much of that dark green. That's what I don't like, but that's going to disappear when we spin. So let's see what we can do here. Let's modify it. Let's 
Ooh. That was a spastic move. I was going too quickly there. Almost made a mess. All right. Let's spin and see what we get. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. Oh, okay, this is pretty. Oh, I love the pink there and the purples over here. It kind of all went in its own individual direction. This is actually very pretty. This pink and what, what is showing up there? Oh, it's mixing with the um, key lime and kind of giving us a little bit of oranginess there. This is pretty. Let me get my little tray because I think we'll do a second one. Why not, right? That's what I say. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Look at that. Neat color combination. And the purple got a little bit lighter. It didn't stay really dark. It kind of blended with the, um, the pillow. So let's get this out of the way and see if we could do a slightly better blow on the second one. I'm sure I can because that blow left a lot to be desired. We always have a bad one every once in a while. So I'm going to scrape up this paint. Put it on here. Don't want to waste it. Pop those few little bubbles. We are going to need some more. So how's everybody's summer going? I know it just started. At least I think we hit the first day of summer, didn't we? <laughs> I'm not even sure what day it is anymore, let alone keeping up with stuff like that. But it sure feels like summer. It was 91 degrees here today. So I'm saying it's summer. Again, there's our Diox purple. We went out last night when it was cooler and weeded the garden. We planted, we planted all kinds of things this year. Green peppers, cucumbers, zucchini. Um, we're trying kohlrabi this year. Spinach, lettuce, and Swiss chard. That's what we got going. And it's really funny. It's kind of, we had a very cool spring here. And I don't think things are as far along as they usually are by this time, but I could be wrong. Oh, there's a bloober. Let me get this bloober out of here. Oh, it's a big goober. Holy cow. Hold on. Okay, the goober is gone. So anyway, I don't know what, but... They didn't have the normal brand of seeds that I usually buy either. Now I'm wondering if this seed company is just not very good. I hope not. Now because there was too much green last time, it's for my taste. This just does not want to move. I'm going to put less down. So I'm hoping things get moving now that it's really hot. But the lettuce and Swiss chard, they're not, they don't like it really hot. So I don't, we might not have a very good garden this year. Okay, here we go. There we 
we go. So if you're into gardening, let me know what you planted. I'm always interested in hearing about what people do. Oh, this is much better. And look at look at the colors. Yes, yes. We got more of that um, turquoise blue in there. Much better blue. I think I got a little thing that spit in there. Jeez, oh man. <laughs> Can't win for losing today. Well, let's let it go and see what happens. Can always scrape. I did that once before. And actually, it didn't harm it. I didn't know how to get rid of it, but what I did was so pretty, I didn't want to scrape it. So I left it there, and it dried fine. That's the problem with using the turkey baster sometimes. And I did four other coasters before I got on here, so the condensation probably... Can you believe we're standing here talking about spit? This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, let's spin. <laughs> All kinds of weird topics come up when you're painting. What are you going to do? Okay. Oh, these colors. I don't know about the color palette. I thought I would really love these colors, but... I think I'd like it better if the dark green wasn't in there. So maybe next video we'll try that. I'm going to close up my paints while that's spinning. what we got oh yeah that's pretty all right I like the color combination so there you have it different colors to try give it a go again that was um Diox purple jasmine from primary elements a hot pink cobalt turquoise light key lime and thalo green I might suggest you leave the thalo green out and the other problem is that spit looks horrendous. So this is getting scraped. But regardless, <laughs> we will see you next time. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.